Hey, check it out, everybody. It's Phil from New York Rocks. We're rocking down here at Slattery's down in Midtown Manhattan. I'm sitting next to no other than Stefan Bateau. How you doing, Stefan? Very, very good. Thanks for having me. Thank you. This is a great Ranger, New York Ranger legend. And what a great player you are through the years. I want to thank you for bringing us the Stanley Cup, actually, in 94. But you had a great career. Talk a little bit about, though, where you're from and how you got started in hockey. Tell everybody. Well, I'm a French-Canadian, so I grew up in uh, outside of Montreal, like uh, seven hours north of Montreal, mm -hmm. just like any typical kid. Started to play hockey when I was five. I grew up in the junior leagues in the Hall, Quebec. I played four years there. I played with a lot of players who made it to the National Hockey League, and my dream was uh, was to play one day for the National Hockey League, and I did when I was 20. Mm -hmm. I played 13 years on six different teams. I played over uh, 850 games in regular season, won uh, one Stanley Cup with the New York Rangers in 94, and they, uh, I've been retired for 11 years now. Yeah, but you're still a young guy. You look yeah. great, I want to tell you. And uh, you started, though, with uh, Calgary. Started with the Flames, right? Then from the Flames, you went to what? Chicago. I went to. Uh, start, I got drafted in 1987 by the right. Calgary Flames. We had a, such a good team there. I got hurt my second year. They traded right. me to Chicago. Lost to the finals against Pittsburgh. The famous Mario Lemieux, Jagger, and all those uh, uh, those great players. Then I got traded two years later to the Rangers, and we won the cup. Then I went to St. Louis. I got a chance to uh, to play with the Wayne Gretzky, the Brett Hall, the Pierre Turgeon the Al McKinnis, the uh, Chris Pronger. Then I went to San Jose for five years. Right, right. And um, we, had a great, we had great teams there for five years, but we never passed the second round. Mm -hmm. uh, great city to play for. And then I uh, retired just like anybody else in Florida when I was uh, 33 years old. Great. All right, but I wanted to get back to the Rangers. When you were traded to the Rangers, did you feel anything like, hey, uh, this team's good? I feel good about this. And talk about the, the time that you were played in the playoffs. Game three, of course, it was in over, double overtime. And the infamous game seven, when you scored the goal to bring the Rangers to the Stanley Cup against the Devils, and then eventually winning the Stanley Cup with, uh, with uh, Vancouver, you know, against we, Vancouver. Uh, we, all, we all knew the, the Rangers had a, such a good season, such a good uh, powerhouse team in 1993-94, and uh, it didn't take a genius to find out they were the best team in the National, National Hockey League. They were first overall pretty much the whole season, and I did not have any idea I was going to be traded to the Rangers. Yeah. So at the very last last second, I got traded to the Rangers for Tony Amani yeah. with uh, my good friend Brian Noonan. And uh, didn't know anything about the Rangers, didn't know anything about the history, the alumni. But as soon as I stepped foot to the uh, to the Rangers locker room, we knew I knew that I had a chance to win the Stanley Cup. So uh, we went along, and we finished strong, and we finished first overall. So we had the home ice advantage. Then we played the Islanders, we swept them. We played against Washington, we beat them in five, and then the famous series against the uh, Devils in uh, in Game Seven. Uh, that was a tough. Series. It was know? one of the toughest series I ever experienced, and one right. of the toughest uh, series in the NHL history. Mm -hmm. And the uh, first game we lost, yeah. uh, Stefan Rishi scored a double overtime goal. I scored a double overtime goal in New Jersey game three, right. and uh, thank God to uh, Valerie Zalapukin that he scored seven seconds to go in game seven. Otherwise, uh, I don't think I would be here today if he didn't score the goal. So. Yeah. I did my magic in Game 7 in uh, the Garden, and uh, the rest is history. And then we went on to Game 7, yeah. another great series against the Vancouver, Vancouver Can Canucks, and we brought the Stanley Cup in uh, Rangers for the first time in 54 years. Wow. What a humbling thing for you to say. I was talking to you a little bit before. You said, oh, we did it as a team, which is so cool to, for you to say that, because your scoring in, in the playoffs, if it wasn't for you, the Rangers wouldn't have gotten what they've gotten, but you were like, hey, you know what I mean? Yeah. We all put that together. It's the honest truth. The Mark Messi led us, yeah, the yeah. Kevin Lowe led us, the Adam Gray, Zubov, Leach, Richter, yeah, yeah. you name them. They were all, to me, they're the Kovalev, Larmer, yeah. the Tikkanen, McTavish, uh, 
So we all chipped in at some point. Right, right. I only, I only had like 10 points in the playoff. Yeah. Those guys had 23, 25, 30 points in the playoff. Leach ended up winning the player, the player MVP in the playoff. Yeah. So I chipped in for two games. Uh, Glenn Anderson yeah. scored two big goals in the finals for us against Vancouver. Noonan scored some big goals. Larmer, Kovalev. And so that's why I'm saying it was a team effort with great leaders and uh, the goaltender was outstanding yeah, so uh, yeah, Mike Richter but they uh, honest yeah. the truth it was a team effort we yeah. deserved it and that's why we won it very nice all right let's go to the, the scoring of that goal on the, what was your thoughts and your sentiments about what was happening at that moment well game seven it was a dramatic a lot of tension at the stadium because they scored they tied a goal with seven seconds to go yeah. and uh, but it's amazing how loose in the normal way right. we were in overtimes and we had a chance to win so we were one goal away to make it to the national to the play after the right. Seneca final so we uh, I felt composed I knew I was gonna score in my mind because yeah, I've yeah. done it before and growing up I scored so many overtime goals in my mind yeah. and growing up on the street in Montreal right. so uh, it was it was a lucky goal it was a great goal but we're still talking about it 20 years later. That's what okay, it. let's go to the videotape footage of that goal with Howie Rose. Mato, Mato, Mato. Rangers changing. Matisse off for the Devils. Plays it cross ice into the far corner. Mato swoops in to intercept. Mato behind the net. Swings it in front. He's got it. Them 54 years before, so uh, right. I'm part of that team. Nobody will can can take that away from me, and just I'm very proud of it. All right. So you're here. You have signing autographs. You're here at this party. Talk about a little about the party, uh, VIP tail party we're having here, and about uh, Teddy and. Well, Teddy, I met him a few years ago. We've done a few signing like that. Right. That's a good chance to uh, meet a lot of fans because there's so many. Uh, Ranger fans all over the place in New Jersey, very Long Island, fans. very proud fans. They, uh, most of them were at the game and they let me know in 1994 I was sitting in that seat and that seat and that seat. So we have a special bond and Ted put, puts uh, together a lot of events like that and it's my third or fourth time doing stuff with him. He's a hard working guy, he's a great, uh, he's a great organization and uh, he's a great friend of mine. Okay. All right, now let's talk about what you're doing now and what you're involved with now. And I heard you're going to play a little bit tonight and talk about what you're doing for the future. Well, right now I'm, uh, I'm at the uh, Mark Messi Leadership Camp for the weekend. Uh, Leach is there, Brian Leach, uh, Mike Richter, uh, Adam Grace, Mark Messi. And we get, they gathered 36 players, all, uh, all different great uh, um there's like 25 years old to 74 years old players and uh, different background, that's what I meant to say, from Canada to the United States and today we played our championship game at the Garden after the Rangers-Bruins game. So uh, it's a great event and it's a good uh, place to, uh, to be. I put coaching aside and what I'm doing now, I'm working for the Rangers, uh, for the alumni. I come to the Garden like five or six times a year. I do sign a lot of autographs at the Garden and I do vi a suites visit. And I also work in the uh, in Pennsylvania, Lancaster, at the uh, River Rock Academy. A friend of mine that I met through Mark Messier. Uh, I go there once uh, once a month for four days, and I talk a lot to kids who are the volunteers who need uh, we need uh, like a big brother type of uh, uh, assignment, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Giving back, giving back to what you know freely was given to you. Exactly, and uh, I teach them how to skate. The other right. day I took them bowling and we formed a metal goal club. Right. So we set goals every single month and I meet them and I greet them. It's, uh, it's a great place to be. Well, guys, it like, should be like what you do, man. That's really giving of yourself. Well, there's giving a lot of good guys out there. There's a lot of great athletes and uh, football players, basketball players. So I I'm at... more guys like you around well, thank you. things like that. Thank You're you, but really it's just... Uh, person, man. And I, I, much, I've man. learned from the Adam Graves, the... Uh, Mark yeah. Messier, so I'm very grateful. Well, I want to thank you very much for your time and your effort and the great, great play that you did for the Rangers and winning the Stanley Cup for us. And, man, you thank rock, you. man. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much thank man. you very much. Thank I appreciate it. All right, you're watching New York Rocks here. Legend, Stefan Mato, Mato, Mato from the New York Rangers right here, rocking on New York Rocks. Peace out, everybody.